everyone, it is Irik here with Boulder Road IO. In this tutorial, we're going to be reviewing this um, animation that I did here. When you click Get Dance in my Sway uh, redesign, there is a load here. And what ends up happening is you go to the next page after the, um, the loading is done. So if we restart that, you'll see that here goes from zero to 100% and then boom, you go to the next page. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. You can see the triggers that we're using are start, rotate. This is a jump to scene. Essentially, I'm determining that I have four seconds to jump to the scene and I'm changing the text here with the detect on the rotation. And um, so as the load rotation happens, I am dividing this and turning it into a percent. Um, and you can use, I, I use the ceiling function here to turn it into a hundred percent. So we'll go ahead and put that into here. So I'm starting off with a blank slate here. And there's a couple of things you want to know. You could actually install a Lottie animation for this, but I'm just, you know, in Figma, I went ahead and created a circle um, and then an overlay circle on top of that. So you'll notice that there is a left container. I call that the left half. And then there is a right container. I call that the right half. And the left load is um, is on the right half container. So here's what's gonna happen. As the rotation changes, these containers which have their sub layers clipped are going to come out of view as it, rotate, uh, as it rotates around the central axis here. So it's important, I have two PNGs that are that represent the load, and they're hidden um, by the clipped sublayers. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start this where after you jump to this scene, you're going to start rotating these two things. Now, uh, to make it look realistic, I had the load time for the first one take. Let's see. It's this is going to be half a second and this is half a second so let's start with the first one this right this left load has to go into the right circle so we're going to start with that and we're going to rotate this 180 degrees so let's start with that we're going to start with the left half and it's going to move into this right half 180 degrees over 0.5 seconds with a 0% start delay. Then what we're going to do is, actually let's just put the delay at half a second, just because on start you'll wait like half a second and then the load starts. Then after that, we're going to start the next half which is this right load. So it's gonna turn into here at 180 degrees. And I did this start at one, because essentially you have a delay of half a second. The duration is half a second. So the total time that's passed when you land on this scene is one second. So we're starting at one second and well, the delay is one second and then we'll make the duration two. So it seems more realistic. And then what I've done here to create that jump to next scene was I created a jump and I delayed it four seconds. So um, what that means is that after this turns 100%, you would jump to the next scene. We don't have that next page here, so we can ignore that. Now, how do you do the text change to make that load function? Well, there was two. So we're gonna detect when the left load moves. And we're going to use that to assign, let's see here, 
I have two variables. We're going to use left rotation. Rotation and right rotation. Okay, so when we detect the left load, which is this moving into here, we're going to assign the change to the actual variable here. Let me just make sure I got this right. And it's going to be the left load rotation left load dot rotation and this is left rotation and the text is going to change for this based on so this is the one percent formula and here's the formula so this changes 180 degrees. So what we're going to do is ceiling left rotation and we're going to divide that by 3.6 plus a percentage point. And what this is going to do, I'll uh, just put this in why aren't you wanting to work? Oh no, you did. Okay, good. So, let's check out what that looks like. You see here, we've loaded 50%, then the other port, the other part of the circle went um, here. So, let's replay that. You'll see half a second passes and then the text adjusts. All right, so now we gotta do the detection for the right load. And again, you don't technically have to do this because you could download a Lottie animation and we're gonna detect the right load rotation. Let's do this. Right load rotation. And then we're going to do a more complicated formula here because what we need to do is um, after this has gone to 50%, we need to add it to the second load, which is the right load. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, put this in parentheses, then we're gonna add the right rotation. And so what I do with the right rotation is that I am adding, I'm taking the right rotation, let's do this here, and dividing it by 7.2. So what you get is Oh, let's see here. Detect, oh, okay, rotation. There we go. Oh, shoot. We've got a double error. Oh, I see what it's doing. Now let's preview that. There we go. So it goes all the way to 100. And we just need to make sure, why is it going to zero? Restart this. One. I think it's going to zero because, oh yeah, the, the okay, so you can't, yeah, that's what I did, 180 degrees. What I did was I changed this to 179.9999 and Okay, 179.99, there we go. Um, what this is going to do is on this rotating here, it's not gonna complete, and that will just make it so that this formula stays, um, this rotation formula stays to 180. Uh, Cause what ends up happening for this is, if you go back, 
I'm not sure why it goes to zero, um, but it does. Because you're detecting the rotation of 180 degrees and 179, but all I know is that this, you make it 179, and then it will stay at 100. That's the reason I do the ceiling here. So I don't know, um, maybe someone in the comments knows why, but that is the formula that I'm using here. Um, you do left rotation, which is 180 degrees, divided by 3.6, then the right rotation divided by 7.2. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you guys the best. Cheers.